Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soto, and today I want to walk you through step by step how to install my new Ultimate Trend Trading System. Okay, in the previous video, I showed you how, an overview of how it works and how to use the system. Okay, but in this video, I simply want to show you uh, how to install it, which is very, very easy. Okay, so basically, you first of all, you need to have a Windows uh, operating system. Okay. Or if you use a Mac, then you need to have some way in which you can run Windows programs, okay? So anyhow, once you purchase this, I want to send you a link to download the installation file, okay? Once you download the installation file, place it on your desktop or place it you know, in your documents, wherever. Just make sure you know exactly where you installed or where you downloaded it to, okay? So on this example, I downloaded it to my desktop, which is right here, okay? This way I know exactly where it is, okay? And all you have to do is just open it up, double click on it, and it should open. Now it's gonna open up a series of dialog boxes that are going to basically go through the installation process. And uh, once it comes up, you should see a welcome dialog box all right, this right here, okay? And after it comes up, uh, click Next. Now, note, if you click Next and you have a MetaTrader platform already running, you're going to get an error message like this, telling you that you need to close your MetaTrader program and then uh, click OK to continue, all right? So in this example, I, just, I did this on purpose just to show you what would happen. <clears throat> so in this example, I have... A MetaTrader platform already running. I have IC markets here running. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. All right. Once that's closed, then I can click OK to continue. All right. And then you'll see the next step here. You'll see some basic information on how this system works. Okay. I wrote all this out, gave you some basic instructions, and talked about all the different components. All right. There's ultimate signal indicator, there's ultimate histogram. And they're Hikonashi. Those are the three main components. I'm not going to read all this to you, okay? But you can um, read this on your own. I would suggest uh, to maybe copy and paste this into like a Word document or a notepad. That way you have this information saved for future reference, okay? Click Next. And here is your user license agreement. It's just some basic information about my software. Just click I accept the agreement and then click Next. Then this window. Um, you can choose which MetaTrader platform you want to install. You can install it on all of them if you want. <clears throat> the only thing is, I have to give you a password, okay, for every account of each platform, okay? So just contact me, and I'll give you a new password, okay? I don't mind. As long as you don't come to me for dozens and dozens of passwords, okay? But you know I'm pretty flexible in that aspect but make sure you come to me I'll give you a password to install and I'm going to show you here in a second how to use that password okay in this example I'm only going to use the IC markets so I'm going to deselect this one and only select the IC markets next hit next again <clears throat> okay now this is a all your files right here installed. It's going to install a ultimate histogram, ultimate signal, and Hakanashi three components. It's going to install onto your MetaTrader platform. Okay. And it should say done right here on the bottom. And then click next. And then it's telling you that your installation is complete now. All right. And then check this box right here to go ahead and run the application after the install and make sure you have the platform or platforms that you have selected in the previous step okay and then click finish and then what's going to happen is it's going to load your MetaTrader platform back up okay <clears throat> and then as it's loading here it's going to it's going to show you a blank screen <clears throat> i already had one open before you should have a blank screen okay um, I'm just going to choose AUD USD as the default for this broker. Okay, you should have a blank screen similar to this. All right. And all you have to do is locate your three uh, indicators over here in the navigator section. You should have ultimate signal, ultimate histogram, and Hikonashi. Okay. Now, yours probably will not look like mine, obviously, 
But the first thing we need to do is take an ultimate signal indicator, drag and drop it onto the chart, and it should come up automatically with the inputs tab here. All right. Really, you do not need to change anything. All right. Signal gap, leave it alone. Uh, sound set to true because this will give you your desktop notifications. Okay. And then email, I have it set to false because most people never use email notifications. All right. And then right here it says push notifications. I have it set to true because I highly recommend you getting push notifications. That way you can get alerts on your cell phone telling you when you need to place a trade okay and then you can come to your chart and just verify the trade before you actually place the trade okay and then right here under the password this is where you enter the password now i'm going to give you a password all you have to do is give me your account number which is up here in the left corner okay give me this number and then i will make a password and send you the password and then you input the password here so for this video, I already have a password, which I hear over here in a, in, in a notepad. And I'm just going to copy this and then paste it back over here into the settings inputs tab for the password here in the indicator. <clears throat> and then click OK. And it should display a series of red and green arrows, as you see here. OK, <clears throat> that's your basic. Uh, Indicator right this is going to give you all your trade alerts. All right. This is your your first your primary signal Your ultimate signal the second one you need to install is your ultimate histogram, which is right here drag and drop that Okay, and the only thing you need to do here is input your password and Then hit paste and then you're done. All right, and then it's going to bring up a series of red and blue blocks Okay and the blue blocks are for buy only buy trades and the red are for only sell trades. All right, very simple. So if you have like for example a red a green arrow right here and you only then you need to place a buy trade if you have a blue down here. Now this changes from red to blue and then forms a green arrow that's perfect, okay? And then you will close the trade on the opposite arrow, okay? And you will keep on doing that. All right? As long as you have a blue uh, block at the bottom. You will only go off these green arrows. Now, once this changes to red, you will only go by the red arrows. All right, you only place a trade here and then close on the green arrow. All right, very, very simple. All right, easy to understand. Now, the third component we need to install, we need to add to the chart is called Hikonashi candles, which are actually built into the MetaTrader platform, okay? <clears throat> and when we load these, all, all it really going to show you on the input tab is just the different colors of the candlesticks, all right? So the default colors are red and white. And the red are okay, but the white is absolutely ugly in my opinion. So what I like to do is just go and change this to blue. And you can choose whatever color blue you want. I just choose the default blue. That way I have red and blue candles, okay? And then click OK. All right, and basically You're gonna see like this You have blue candles for uptrend and red candles for a downtrend. All right, and If you get a green arrow get an alert to buy on a green arrow You're gonna to need to look at your histogram down here and make sure it's blue also All right, then you're gonna wait another candle or two till the Candles turn to blue from red to blue. Once this changes to blue, we know we have a positive change in trend. And then you go ahead and just place a buy trade and then wait to close it until the next arrow appears. There's no need to enter a take profit, no need to enter a stop loss. You know, that's it. All right. You see down here, these are two trades I placed this morning using this signal, all right, using this indicator. I have no stop loss, no take profit, all right. These other two are from a long time ago. I used my easy harmonic, but these two right here, I placed this morning. They're already, you know, pretty well on the profit already. I'm just waiting for them to close, right? They might be open for another day. I don't know, all right. But anyhow, that's basically how you do this. It's very, very easy to use a system. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Oh, there's one last thing I want to show you <clears throat> um, before I end this video. 
and you kill me is templates all right once you have all these charts set up and it looks like this all right you can go right here well right click on the desktop turn off the grid you don't have to but i think it looks nicer without that grid on there kind of ugly and go here and make a save a template you should already have a template called uh ultimate trend trading system but the problem is you need to do this after you have your password entered okay so just save a new template Choose Ultimate Trend Trading System, hit Save, replace it, and then when you want to open another chart, for example, let's say Euro USD, then all I have to do is come here and then go to Templates, okay? Choose another template, and bam, there it is. Open up another chart, USD CHF, all right? Open a template, bam, okay? Very easy, all right? And I like to keep this on a one-hour chart or four-hour chart. All right, the four hour charts you're going to you're going to have open trades open for a long time, but probably a few weeks. But the thing is, you're going to have a lot more pips. All right, I personally do not recommend using less than a one hour chart. I've had a lot of people contact me saying they've been they've had success using a five minute, even fifteen minute chart. <clears throat> the only thing is, you need to be very careful if you're using like a five minute chart because indicator will repaint on the smaller time frames. Okay, on the one hour and above, I have yet to see it repaint, but it's not saying it won't. It just is very unlikely that it will repaint on a one one hour or higher, because this way it gives it time for the indicator to, you know, adjust and actually paint a good signal. But if you put it on five minute, it's very choppy. So you can you can use a five minute. Just you have to be patient and wait to the exact uh, entry point i would probably go off the second color arrow for example if this changes from blue to red and you get an arrow wait till you get a green and then another red and then place that way you know you're already within that trend okay that's just my opinion you're more than welcome to try a five minute chart and see what happens and play around with it i don't mind just let me know if you have any questions uh comments or concerns my uh, there's a link below for my personal Facebook account. Please contact me there first. Um, you know I have a lot of people contact me by email, but the best way to contact me is through my Facebook. Okay. Also, there's a link below this in the description of this video for my private Facebook group. If you have not joined my Facebook group, please do so, and you can post any questions or comments in there as well. And myself or other fellow traders can help and assist you. Okay. So I hope this helps you. Just let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be delighted to help you, okay? Thank you, and have a wonderful day.